Today, I am teaching you how to start identifying your current money beliefs because let's face it, we're in a crisis right now. Sometimes we feel like it's a crisis every day when it comes to our thoughts about money, right? But I have to say that when I recognized that I had a really crappy relationship with money, I was going through my own personal crisis. I was going through a divorce. And maybe you're not going through a divorce, maybe you are, I don't know, but I definitely know that on a global scale, we are all going through this crisis together and there is no better time than right now to start recognizing your beliefs about money and the things that are holding you back from making the kind of money that you want. Welcome back to Completely Karen. I am Karen and I am your certified life and money mindset coach. And today I am teaching you how to start identifying your current money beliefs. Because like I said, we're all in a crisis right now. Sometimes even when we're not in a global crisis, every day is a crisis when it comes to money and our thoughts about it. The first thing that I want you to know when it comes to money beliefs and money in general is that we all have a relationship with money. You can have a good relationship with it or you can have a bad relationship with it. I used to have a terrible, terrible relationship with money. And maybe you don't even realize what kind of relationship you have because you've never really thought about it in that way. And that is why you have me as your coach to help point these things out to you. So it is possible to have a relationship with money. And the better your relationship, the more abundance and money you can create in your life. Now, I'm not just saying that you think, oh, money is awesome and I love it so much. And now I'm just gonna sit here on my chair and do nothing and money's just gonna come to me. Guess what? That is not how life works, right? That is not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you think about money and how much you love it and when you treat it good and you have it and you feel comfortable having it and you you know don't spend it every time you get it, you will have more you will create more, you will feel happier, you will feel more abundant, you will feel excited about the money that you have, and then your brain is going to go, ooh, what kind of actions and creative ideas can I come up with to take action to bring more of that awesome money into my life, more of that excited feeling when I think about money, when I have money into my life. And then you'll go out and start creating results of having more money, and it's this awesome cycle of, money and abundance and it's really great. So our very first step to being able to create more abundance and more money in our lives is to recognize the money thoughts that we have right now. So this is how you're going to start identifying your current money beliefs. I want you to sit down today, right now, while you're home with your kids and they're homeschooling, you're gonna do a little bit of homework of your own, okay? You're gonna sit down and you're going to get a piece of paper and a pen and this is what you're going to do. You are going to write, dear money, and then you're gonna write a letter to money, and you're gonna write down all your thoughts about it, good, bad, ugly, and everything in between. You're gonna write down stories about it, how it makes you feel, what comes up when you think about it, what you do when you spend it, what you do when you save it, how you feel when you do those actions. I want you to write down every single thought and I want you to fill an entire page and then I want you to sign it sincerely your name. I promise you, if you do this, you will be very clear on your thoughts about money. You might have some good thoughts about money. You might have some bad thoughts about money. So I have done this in my past four or five years ago when I first came across this idea of having a relationship with money, I wrote a letter to money. I couldn't find it or I would be reading it to you right now. But it was something like this. Dear money, I have a love-hate relationship with you. I hate you most of the time because I never feel like you're there when I need you. I do like to spend you, but I always am worried that I'm never going to have enough at the end of the month. You stress me out. I feel like all you do is go to bills. Like it was just, I mean, one thing after another of why I hated money so, so much, right? you might have those same feelings. And if you do, the purpose of this letter is to recognize and be aware of how you're feeling about money. Because you can't change anything if you're not aware of it in the first place, right? I've said this before, but it's kind of like with uh, the location of Google Maps. 
you say you want to go to a certain place, Google always says, where, what's your location? Where are you starting from? Google doesn't know how to tell you how to get to that place without knowing where you're starting from. And it's the exact same idea. We got to know where your thoughts are right now to be able to get to where you want them to be. So that's the purpose of this whole video and this whole exercise of writing the letter to money is to know what your thoughts are, your current beliefs about money right now. Once we know those, we can take some steps to start to change them. But we gotta know where you're at now. So do this, this is your homework that you get to do with your kids while they're doing their social isolation homework as well. There's homeschooling, this is your homework, okay? So get to work, write your letter to money, and start figuring out what those limiting beliefs are about money. So do your homework. Let me know in the comments how this goes. I can't wait to hear back from you. And just know that if you want to take any of this work deeper, if you are really struggling in this crisis and you're really worried about money and you're really worried about what's going to happen in the next month or two when it comes to I've lost my job or I feel like I'm just going to the store constantly overbuying things because I just feel like if I don't get it now, it's not going to be there. Any of that scarcity mindset stuff that you are struggling with right now, I'm here to help you. You can go to my website and schedule your appointment with me as your one-on-one -on -one coach today. Go to karennelsoncoaching.com and set that up and I will walk you through this. I will give you some clarity and I will coach you and guide you through this crisis that you're having, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in the next video at Completely Karen.